Right, hello folks, uh, we're back again uh, with regards to the temperature sensor and the Raspberry Pi and I did promise that I'd come back and show you on how to show the temperature on a web page uh, via the uh, Raspberry Pi. Now just a quick recap, um, so what we've got uh, with the Raspberry Pi at the moment is a uh, temperature sensor which is the Dallas One Wire DS18B20 um, and in the previous video I went to show you I'll uh, just uh, I'll show you quickly on how to um, get that temperature up now at present um, down in my living room Currently the temperature is uh, 21.1 degrees um, you, obviously you just um, do a division by uh, a thousand and, and off you go that's that's basically what it is now it's very simple now to um, get this to uh, display back via a, a little bit of uh, coding now I won't uh, take any form of credit for the next piece of code because effectively I, I just went on one of the forums when I was hunting around and someone had actually kindly already done it and what I'll do uh, is I'll put a link to that and obviously you can thank the individual for that uh, because they're the ones who've done it but what I can do is I can quite happily explain the, the code itself now um, all you need to do is uh, create a file uh, once you've got your um, web server set up and running you can have a, a web page um, there's loads of other tutorials uh, to do it, but the principle is exactly the same. All you need to do is literally copy in this uh, code here. Um, essentially, what what it's doing is it's saying the um, the file that I've just shown you with the temperature in there, basically saying you know look for this file. Once you've got the file. Well, this it actually explains it all. You know, so it reads the file line by line. Um, it then gets the um, the temperature from the line itself, and then it goes into formatting. Um, and then simply it just uh, the the PHP language it obviously it turns in uh, forms of echo. So if you once you've got a piece of information, you use the term echo, and it puts it out on text. Now. Essentially, what that then does, uh, it enables you to have something like this. So, um, obviously, that's my the IP address of my uh, Raspberry Pi. That's the file at present, and then that's on how it's formatted. And it's as simple as that. Uh, and then uh, the only thing is, is uh, at the moment, it's not what I would call dynamically changing it's static. That that is a snapshot in time of when I had the screen up, which is you know a couple of minutes ago. I don't anticipate the room uh, temperature changing on that much. But then again, I have got an open fire going because I'm a bit of a chilly person. Um, if I put a refresh, oh, okay, it's, it's gone down in temperature, which is a bit unnerving. Obviously, the fire's not roaring as good as it should be. But again that shows you that it, it does change now that's just how to get the text now that's okay but it doesn't look quite nice what does look nice is when you put it into something like this so you've got a nice display here of, um, of the temperature itself now you'll notice up here hold on if I just refresh these change uh, it seems like this temperature downstairs is fluctuating all over the place by one degree. Well, point one degree, but hey ho. Um, but what I'll do is I'll go into another video on how to set up and show you uh, this part here. But essentially, all all this is doing is taking this temperature file here that we created, and then putting it. Or calling it here, so this is your initial web page that when you go to your Raspberry Pi, like I've got the uh, the Morstan Mansion, um, this up, and it's this little line of code here. That all you need to do is just put include, and then your little um, quote, well quotation marks, yeah, quote marks, the file name, and always remember to put the semicolon. If you don't put that, it just won't it won't work. Um, <laughs> I've done it a number of times, it just won't work. So then. Essentially, what happens with your file structure is this index here is your web page, your initial landing page, and basically what it says is please include when you load this file anything that is in here. 
So there it does that. Obviously pulls down the information of temperature, and then all I do, if I'll do the the simple part first, is where if I put it. Okay. So because we're calling the top file called temp.php, within that we have the this part here, which is the the formatted temperature. And then basically what that does, it just spits and that's why I've got, if you observe on here, uh, I've got a temperature up here which is the, the include file, but I've got then that temperature down there as well. So that's the what I would call the messy one. In fact, whilst we run it, I might as well just remove that part there because it's no longer needed because I've got a nice fancy version. Well, used to this. This is fine, but this is where this is the fancy temperature itself. So, what I've done is I've put in here temperature. In fact, that's no longer required. I need to take that part out. Um, so, I've put the temperature in here. Basically, what that's done is put it into a nice form. I'll go into that again. It's a bit of code that I found on the internet, very self-explanatory, but yeah, it's it works works very well. In fact, I need to take that out as well. So you can see on when you're doing things, they can be quite quick on how things are removed. So that's gone. I've removed this, and we've got a nice nice display here on how the temperature looks which it works very well um, with uh, tablet devices and also phones as well so I can actually see what the ta uh, temperature in the house is uh, remotely via my uh, Android phone or my tablet so um, yeah hope that was informative obviously any questions by all means just post a comment and I'll respond back okay thanks a lot